Strong back retract has started. That's the call out for the strong back retraction sequence starting. And you'll see those clamp arms right below the Falcon 9 fairing begin to slowly open here. There you can see those clamp arms slowly opening up. And in just a few moments here, that truss structure next to the Falcon 9 will begin to slowly recline in preparation for liftoff. There you can see the strongback slowly leaning back from Falcon 9. Now both the first and second stage of, of Falcon 9 are nearly fully loaded with 1 million pounds of kerosene fuel and liquid oxygen. Now both the first and second stages should finish loading propellant about a minute apart from each other. And the first stage should be wrapping up in just a few seconds here at T minus three minutes with the second stage following at about a minute after that at T minus two minutes. Stage one locks load complete. There is that call out for stage one locks loading complete. Stage two following at T minus two minutes. And at T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup. And this means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers will have taken over the launch countdown. And just inside of T minus two seconds, we will light the Merlin 1D engines for liftoff. Now the vehicle continues to be healthy and the Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues. Weather is green and the range is ready to support a liftoff at 8.34 p.m. Eastern time. We do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time if we don't lift off as scheduled today for any reason. Stage two, lock load complete. There is that call out for stage two liquid oxygen loading complete. We are now fully loaded with over a million pounds of liquid oxygen and kerosene propellant on Falcon 9 first and second stages. And that white cloud you see on the left of your screen is uh, normal and expected. It is venting from the transporter erector liquid oxygen line. Now this next major event will happen in just about 30 seconds where Falcon 9 will go into Ground startup. And that is when the internal flight computers of Falcon 9 will take over the countdown. Preparation for launch. Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. The first and second stages are pressurizing for launch and we're waiting for that final go from the launch director. Uh, Captain Falcon and Galileo, go for launch. You heard that final go for launch from the launch director. All systems are go for a launch of Falcon 9 and Galileo L12. Two minutes, 30 seconds.
power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A and throttled down in preparation for max Q in just about 10 seconds here. Falcon and 9 is supersonic. Now Falcon 9 is supersonic and heading into max Q, which is the highest amount of aerodynamic pressure that it sees during ascent. Max Q. There is that call out for max Q. Falcon 9 has just passed through the maximum period of aerodynamic pressure. Now, with that call out, we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed by stage separation and SES-1, or second engine startup-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine of the M1D engines on the first stage will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the Come first back, stage... Chill. Second and second stage separate from each other with the second stage continuing to second engine startup one. And this is where that single MVAC engine of the second stage will light up and propel the second stage to orbit. Now, in addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after second engine startup one. So keep an eye out for all of these events coming up in just a few seconds here. Now, as a reminder, we are not attempting to land our first stage today as our mission requires more performance, so it will use up the, the fuel typically reserved for landing to complete the mission. We will also not have any stage two views of separation at the request of our customer, but we should see main engine cutoff and stage separation in just a few seconds here. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. There was main engine cutoff and stage separation, and you heard that call out for second engine startup of our MVAC engine. And we again, we are expecting to hear that call out for fairing separation in just a few uh, seconds here. It should be in about 30 seconds. Again, we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back down to Earth using our recovery ship, Bob. Again, we are waiting for fairing separation. We won't have live views of that, but we will get the call out from Mission Control that you see on your screen. Fairing separation confirmed. There was that confirmation for fairing separation. And with that, that will bring today's webcast to a close. Be sure to keep an eye out for updates from our customer regarding their payload deployment and more. If you're interested in more launch coverage, be sure to check spacex.com slash launches for the most up-to-date information. Today's mission marked SpaceX's 337th overall mission to date and 42nd mission of this year. To put all of these launches into perspective, we're signing off today with a fun visual of all of our launches and landings to date. Again, congrats on this booster for its 20th flight. Thank you.